Oh, you just want to be pet, don't you? Hey, morning travelers. Welcome back to another Ad Adventures video. So I've actually been in Bali now for like a week or two, maybe two weeks now. And uh, I was ready for an adventure. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever looked up at a map of Bali, taken a look at it. And you see this city up here, up in the northwest, Nagara. Uh, I took one look at that. I, I was like, I, I was really craving some uh, off the beaten path travel. So I took one look at that city, thought maybe it could be it. Tried doing a little bit of research and there is no information about Nagara. I couldn't find anything. There were like no videos in English. There were hardly any articles about it. Like I, I really couldn't find any information about it. So yesterday I hopped on my motorbike in the pouring rain. I made the drive from Uluwatu, which took maybe like four and a half hours with the downpouring rain. Like I had to go slow. I had to wear glasses because the rain was coming down so hard. It was a pretty gnarly drive, but I'm now here in Nagara, ready to explore, and maybe this whole like northwestern part of Bali over the uh, the next days here. There's a horse right here. <laughs> oh, it zoomed in. Yeah, so anyway guys, I'm in Nagara. I'm gonna be exploring this city today. Let's go see what Nagara is all about, starting with the beach. Oh man, I came over here last night and it was, uh, it was a little too dark to see it. But we are here now, let's go check it out. All right, so the first thing I'm noticing in Nagara is the beach just stretches forever. It's really like this black sand and there are just tons of these uh, fishing boats here, all painted, all super beautiful. I mean, let's examine this guy here real quick. Snickers 09, all right, Snickers 09. We got this beautiful wood that's painted. Let's see, it looks like hemp rope tying it to there. Oh man, I just love the colors. The colors are amazing. All right, we got some lights for fishing at night. We got, uh, this is probably religious purposes, spiritual purposes. Absolutely beautiful. Tell which direction the wind's going. Let's see, we got more lights. Not all the boats have lights, but uh, yeah, this one does. This guy's, this guy's doing a lot of fishing at night. That's all wood, very solid. Some water in there. It rained a lot last night though, that makes sense. All the fishing equipment in here. Let's see, what are they working with? Got some tools, some rocks, net. I love it, man. This is just a beautiful fishing boat. Absolutely beautiful, wow. And there are just rows and rows of these boats. Like it literally just stretches down the entire beach. Oh, this is pretty cool. This homestay even has uh, cows. Moo. That beach was really nice actually. It was cool to see all those boats and everything. And this place is just beautiful too, by the way. I mean, this whole homestay area is amazing. All right, so here we are at my room. I'll show you guys what this looks like. I'll warn you, it is a mess because uh, of all the rain yesterday. I just have my clothes uh, spread out everywhere so they can dry. But uh, this is what the room is like here. It's really cute, like bamboo, you know, wood, nice picture. And this room is honestly perfect, like brick. So it looks really cool. And yeah, guys, all my stuff is messy. That's why I just have it like drying under the fan because I'm about to leave. Little shower back here. So yeah, I'm super happy with this place. This was, uh, there was one place in the area that was cheaper than this on booking.com, but it was not nearly as nice. This place was a little bit more expensive. It's the second uh, most affordable option here close to Nagara. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this place. I'd recommend it. Wow, so I've just passed two mosques in the last like one minute of driving, uh, which kind of makes sense because Indonesia is prim primarily Muslim, and uh, but Bali's the exception to that. Bali is actually primarily Hindu. Um, we're really close to Java right now. Like Java's maybe just like an hour away or so. I might go there in a couple days actually. There's a little scenic viewpoint really close to where I'm at right now. There's just a little bit north of me, so I'm gonna go check that out. Oh, this is an interesting vehicle. What is that? What do we have going on here? All sorts of stuff for sale. Very cool. Wow. Hello. Man, I wish I would have brought my FPV drone. I'm getting a lot better at flying it now. I crashed one in Ahmed, I got a new one. But that field would be the perfect place to just practice whizzing around trees and doing figure eights and stuff. Oh man. I wish I had it with me so bad right now. Whoa, this water comes really high. 
All right, so this viewpoint was really just a beach, I guess. <laughs> but black beach, oh man, this sand is so black and beautiful. Oh, this is super cool. So we can actually see Java right now. Those mountains over there, that's all Java. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take the boat there in a couple days. Oh, that sounds like fun. Just grazing under the palm trees. The cows in Nagara have a pretty good life. Pretty good life. All right, I don't think there's gonna be skyscrapers in Nagara. I'm getting a lot of small town vibes. I mean, beautiful structures though, and we're right by the ocean. You know it's a small city when there's cow poop in the middle of an intersection. <laughs> building, I saw people building boats like right next to the road. Uh, a lot of people walking, a lot of cows right by the road. Um, yeah, very, very beautiful city though. Very beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, I made it to the river. You gotta come up here to Nagara and check this out. It is so beautiful. The boats on this river look like battleships. It's crazy. They're all so colorfully painted and everything. It's super cool. Hello. Oh, is this the menu? Oh, perfect. I will do uh, kumi, sawos, tiram, and nasi. And I will do s kalampa muda. You might be wondering, how the heck do I know what I'm ordering off the menu when it's all in Indonesian? Super easy, Google Translate's camera feature has me covered. That's not a sponsorship, by the way, but it would be if uh, if they wanted to sponsor this, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, so I just got the sweet and sour squid, and I got an iced tea because they were out in the coconut. Oh man, I have the best job ever, just flying my drone, exploring new places. I just love it. And uh, you guys could really help me stay on the road by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That really helps me out a lot. The more views I get, the more money I make, and then uh, the more videos I can make because, uh, yeah, without the likes, without the subscribes, without the watches on these videos, I'm gonna have to uh, get some more work soon. I'm gonna have to figure out some other way to make some money because uh, this channel doesn't pay me very much yet, but I'd love to keep making these videos so I could, uh, turn this into my full-time thing for sure, but uh, not quite there yet. All right guys, so my food has arrived. I got the squid with vegetables right here. I got the nasi, I got my iced tea, and this beautiful, beautiful view. Man, this is honestly, this is honestly like a really, really good restaurant. I haven't even tried the food yet, but just like this view on the river. I recommend coming to Nagara already, even though I've barely seen any of it, just for this view. And uh, especially if you want to get away from like the really touristy like hot spots and everything, this is this seems like a really good place to be because I have not seen another foreigner here uh, yet. So that's pretty cool. And I feel like that's kind of special because there's so many tourists in Bali right now, like in Uluwatu, Chenggu, Ubud, Semenyak, Kuta. Like they're just tourists everywhere. So it's like really where I am right now is like just realistically like a three-hour drive from those places and um, there's no tourists. So it's just a completely different feel, completely different side of Bali. Really good representation, I feel like, of what Bali uh, was like before tourists. Booyah. The landscaping crew is here, working hard, mowing the grass. Gotta love it, the baby calves. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. There is a ton of land up here that cows are grazing on and stuff like that. Um, if someone wanted to like buy property in Bali, this is, I'm guessing, one of like the cheapest places to do it, just because there's like so much open land, so much open land that, uh, you know, is really just being used to graze on and stuff like that. We're here, we hit the city of Nagara. Let's go check it out. So far, Nagara's got the same look and feel to a lot of small cities in Bali, in Indonesia, really. Uh, let's go see some more of it, though, see if that continues. All right, so the downtown part of Nagara is pretty small. It's also got like a little bit of a Western feel. Honestly, it kind of feels like being in a small city in Montana or something like that. It's just like everything kind of is standalone. And um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but it's kind of got like a little bit of a Western vibe. There are really good mountain views. You got these beautiful mountains in the background, beautiful palm trees everywhere, rice fields. Like it's, it's a very beautiful place. All right guys, so I figured out what I'm gonna do after I get gas. There's an abandoned plane uh, really close to me. I think it's just like six minutes away. I think I'm gonna have to hike a little bit to get there. I think there's five abandoned planes in Bali and there's one way up here in Nagara. The rest are really close to like Uluwatu, Kuta, 
food and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, might as well go to this one that's up here while I'm here. All right, let's go to this plane. A lot of big trucks here. I'm guessing they uh, got off the ferry from Java and they're probably headed to Denpasar, heading to, you know, bringing stuff from Java to Bali would be my guess. Uh, yeah, a lot of big trucks on the road here though. So I'm on my way to the abandoned airplane, but there's actually just like a skate park here. Oh man, I'm really wishing I had my uh, unicycle from back home and I could just tear this thing up. This would be sweet. There's no one here either. It's not new, but it's actually in pretty good condition. Just need the, uh, the leaves swept up and a uh, little bit of cleaning up and it'd be ready to get torn up. All right, the map says that I'm almost to the plane, but I gotta go through here. I really hope I don't have to pay. Hello? Hello? This might be my lucky day. This kind of looks like it's like government land or something. State management, Bali land, develop for future use. All right, just a bunch of empty land up here. Sounds like a good place to store an airplane. All right. According to my map, I should have been at the plane, but it wasn't there. So it was time to use the drone for some reconnaissance. It's starting to rain, so I'm gonna get back to my homestay because these are the only pair of dry clothes that I have. I can't afford to get these wet right now. Bummer about the airplane. I wonder if they moved it or something. I'm gonna look into this. I'm gonna try to figure out if I can find it. All right, guys, I made it back to uh, made it back to my homestay without getting too wet, so that was pretty nice. So, guys, I guess the real question is: Should you come to Nagara? Is Nagara worth coming to? I guess that kind of depends. If you are the type of person that you really need a lot of uh, tourist attractions and things to do to be entertained, then Nagara is probably not for you. Um, but on the other hand, like if you have lived in Bali for a long time and you really like to get away from touristy locations, I'd say definitely come to Nagara. There's not like necessarily a ton of like tourist attractions and things to do, but there's also not a lot of tourists. And that's kind of nice, especially when places like Canggu and Ubud and Uluwatu and Kuta, everywhere in Bali right now is actually like super, super busy. There are tons of tourists. So um, I'd say, yeah, like if you're the type of person that you like to see non-touristy places, definitely come to Nagara. There's a lot to check out and it's uh, it's really cool to just kind of like be here and it feels literally like you are in a time machine to what Bali would have been like um, without tourism basically. So, and it's not that far away, right? It takes like three hours to get here from Uluwatu. Um, it's not a bad drive at all. The drive is actually really, really nice to get here. Um, it was raining for me, right? So it was <laughs> it was kind of a hard drive because it was absolutely downpouring. But the whole drive, there's tons of like beautiful palm trees and stuff like that. The drive is like really hilly too. It's like really, really beautiful. And uh, yeah, just check this out. Like everyone's just kind of like hanging out here at the beach. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a really, really cool vibe. So I would definitely recommend checking out Nagara. All right guys, with that being said, I'm gonna end this one here. I'm gonna go find a place where I can eat and ideally watch the sunset while I eat. So wish me luck and I will see you guys again very soon in another video. Peace.